Hey, this is Lorena, and today I'm doing custom quilting. <laughs> um, I wanted to share kind of like some of my process. I'm trying to change things up a little bit because I think the last time I did the custom quilting, I kind of had it a little bit too complicated. This time, as I'm doing the custom quilting, I went ahead and I basted the quilt down like I normally baste it. And honestly, uh, I already basted this quilt once before. Um, <clears throat> The client, thank God I basted it. Let me tell you why. Because when I went through the basting process before I started custom quilting this thing, uh, the client didn't give me enough back fabric. And I wouldn't have known that if I wouldn't have basted it. And this way, if I have any fullness, I can find it or see it. Of course, I already measured this quilt too. But it also stabilizes with... Uh, Custom quilting, sometimes you'll end up having a lot of, uh, I use like two layers of batting, uh, but on this one I'm only using one. I'm using a very high loft poly uh, batting on this quilt because I kind of want to lighten the weight of it and also lighten the cost of it. And I like basting because I went down too far. Um, if there's any extra material, you haven't locked the quilt down and you can unbaste and then and honestly designing this thing has been a thing. So what I'm doing different with this quilt is I am not quilting from the center up and then the center down. I'm going to see if I could quilt it after it's basted from the top and transition myself down. I am going to stitch in the ditch that way, but I want to kind of like focus on this horizontal, these horizontal lines and stitch in the ditch all these areas. Uh, stitching in the ditch standing up. I don't like doing it sitting down because I'm more accurate standing up and I like this bar closer to the under of my best plate. So right now it's a bit low and the reason that's uh, very important is because you, I also use my handles and for the micro stippling and stuff like that, I use these, these um, micro handles. So when I'm doing stitching the ditch, I use more of this arm Sometimes I'll get tired, but I need to raise it up because I'm going to be standing while I do this. Seriously, Joanne's love, love this ruler. It's my favorite ruler, to be honest. Um, and it's the, use, the ruler I use the most. So it's a cheap ruler. It's my favorite ruler, and it's a ruler I use the most. You want the, the machine to be kind of close to your chest area so that you're not hunching. And so uh, I'm going to be doing this for quite a while, so I want to protect my back. I went ahead and put a new needle. For some reason when it gets here, it's jamming the machine. I don't know if the needle's not sharp enough. So I changed the needle and what I'm doing, so you can have an idea, it's I'm going, I'm finding a pattern so I could travel through. So here I'm just quilting these and you have to stop and start. But like here, you could go all the way across and then go and travel throughout the quilt all the way across and then come back and do the opposite end. And that's what I'm doing. Since I'm already here getting to the basting process, I'll leave these base here to maintain control of this. Um, but I will remove the base in the center because I'm going across. And then I'll leave this here.
got all this stitched down and um, horizontally this is quilted. After I went ahead and I stitched everything down, I removed the quilt from the long arm and I took off the leaders on the vertical side and we sewed the leaders on the horizontal side and that's where it is at this current time. So you can see the bottom of the quilt down there, it's not quilted. And so what I'm doing now is on the top, which was vertical, but now it's on the horizontal again. I went ahead and stitched all that completely down and I'm custom quilting from the top down. And so the reason I'm almost halfway done, the bottom down there is still not quilted. When you do custom work, you also have to go back and clean it up. So I still need some some cleaning up and where I have to unstitch some things because I went off the ditch, I'm gonna have to go back and restitch the ditch, but I'm gonna do that on my regular sewing machine. And then um, also too, some of the quilt has like a little bit of the, the water soluble marking on it. And sometimes you have like weird little I don't know, can you focus? Tail end right there. It looks so pretty. I don't know if you can see the shadowing. Um, of this quilt. In the back, it's not as lovely. It's okay. You can see some of my slight issues. Um, you can see I need to go back like where the quilt long arm didn't like this seam right here. So it did a really wide stitch. Look how beautiful. 